I was very interested that so many of you did part D, look again at part D, did part D before doing part C, part two. Okay, so just to remind you, this is the question, right? You're trying to graph this locus. Now, the fact that part D is there after part C, part two, is kind of me winking at you to say, hey, you know, I know you can find, you can graph this without appealing to any algebra. You shouldn't need to. If you appealed to algebra to do this and part D wasn't there, you just spent five minutes of your time that you're going to regret at the end of the paper. Okay? Think about this. What does this mean? You've got two points that you're comparing to, right? You're comparing to, you're measuring the distance from I, and you're measuring the distance from, minus careful, minus, 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 minus one plus three, plus three I. Okay? Because really, really that's actually Z take away negative one plus three I. Okay? So being that you're comparing to those two points, all you needed to say was, Where's i? 1. Put i there, which is actually just, it's just 1. Where's minus 1 plus 3i? <laughs> minus 1's real, right? So you go this way. Then you go 1, 2, th well, I've already gone 3. There we go. There's minus 1 plus 3i. And you want all of the points that are equidistant to these guys. You should know by now that's just the perpendicular bisector. Right? You should see that. You've been doing locus in 2 unit and extension 1 for a long time now. Okay. This is kind of two unit, just dressed up in four unit language. Okay, yeah. But don't we still have to find the x and y? Steps? Okay, now, once you, here's the thing, right? Um, yes and no. So you would have to find them. They're not hard to find though in terms of just, you know, actually, like you, the, I chose very easy numbers for you. Okay, the gradient ends up being just a half. Um, but the point is that, like when you see part D there, and it's like, oh, this is when I need algebra. Okay, that tells you you can just sketch it. What we're looking for is number one, it's a straight line. Number two, the straight line that it is, is that perpendicular bisector, right? So in fact, the main thing I was looking for was these points and that your line matched that, okay? I was looking, can you recognize this kind of feature? And a lot of you did not, which is why you went straight for the algebra. Lucky you, I put part D in there, so you actually got rewarded for that, but you didn't need to, okay? All right, now, here's why I did this um, question in this order. I'm gonna do part two rather than do part one, okay? Tell me, just humor me for a second, okay? What is the locus that I've actually drawn on here? Where is it? How would you verbally describe it? Humor me. Obvious question. It's this straight line, right? It's got gradient and a half. It's got a y-intercept of nine, 9 over 4, 2 and a quarter. Okay? It's that line, right? Do you agree that it's completely unambiguous that this line is part of my locus? Do you agree with that? Yeah? Okay. What if I just changed it a little bit? What if I like shaded some stuff over here? Okay. Is this line still part of my locus? Yes. It is, right? All I've done is add some stuff. You all agree that this, like drawing a straight line means, I think all of these points are in the locus, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now have a look at what the real answer was, which almost no one did for part one, okay? Firstly, let's do the easy part, okay? You've got this argument, this pair of arguments, right? So you're between minus 2 pi and 3 and between minus pi and 4, right? So you're in this little region here, okay? And then the imaginary part has to be above negative 2. No big deal, I'm above, okay? Now, all of those people who missed the full marks just said, well, you know, I'm just going to draw some lines. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to draw lines like down, and I'll use red just to indicate how upset I am, okay? I'm, I, drew, I drew this line over here, and I drew this line over here, over here, over here. I drew them all in, because why not, right? Are those lines part of the locus? No, is what I screamed like 18 times as I was marking this, okay? If you have written down, drawn those lines as part of your, well, I'm, I'm not sure where it is. That's fine. Use pencil and get rid of them later, like a very small number if you did. But you really should have been indicating they were dotted and almost no one indicated these boundary points either, which are kind of important. Okay. So, how to answer this question? Okay, so I, I was driving home from the city like two weeks ago and on the side of the road were two cars that crashed into each other. On this road, people have crashed into each other. 
Does that make it okay that people have done this in the past? No, it's a freaking car accident, okay? You all agree, you all agree, that's the locus. I drew a straight line, it's in the locus, right? Just because you added some shading on doesn't mean it's suddenly not in the locus, okay? If you don't want those lines as part of your region, then either get rid of them completely or dot them, which is what I did, okay? This is really, really important. Communicate clearly. Why is there an open circle at 0, 0? Why is there an open circle at the origin? Because you cannot measure an angle at the origin from the origin. Right? It's a little bit like saying, okay, for any of you, I can get my, I can get my compass out and I can, I can measure my angle to you, right? And I can say, all right, 359 degrees, whatever it is, okay? What's the angle from me to myself? And the answer is it's whatever I want it to be, okay? So there's no meaningful answer. Okay, yes? How would you dot them if you accidentally went? Like that. I've gone... Like he thought, thought okay, so, so number, number one, don't draw your graphs in pen. I draw my graphs in pen because I'm awesome, okay? But no, even, even like, you, you really shouldn't, right? Like, it's so, it's, you're constructing, of course you're constructing it, right? Like, you're like, I'm not sure where it goes, and then you realize, oh, this part's supposed to be in, and this part's supposed to be out. Use a pencil, use a pencil. You cannot use whiteout to fix your pen graph, right? Because you can't use whiteout in the HSC. So don't use it, right? Use a pencil, or here's a simpler way. Here's a simpler way. When you're starting off, right? So you're like, okay, minus two pi on three, it's gonna be an angle something like that, minus pi on four, something like, like that. You don't know any of these parts are in. So draw the whole thing dotted, right? Draw the whole lot. And then you do your minus two, and you say, oh, okay, now I know where I am, right? And everything is, um, I think all the boundaries are inclusive, right? All the inequalities. So you say, I can't be there, I can be there, I can be there, and then you fill in, one, two, three, everything else, and you're done. It's not that complicated. 